Hi, welcome to Fish in the UK. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit spinning for sand wheels. I'm here on South Shields Pier. I'm going to be using a little Civic rig, a little 28 gram spinner for weight. So this is what I'm going to be using today, it's a heron rig. The hooks are size 4 and there's 5 hooks in here. For a weight I'm just going to be using a 28 gram silver claw minnow. This is an old one off last year, I've just took the hooks off the bottom so I don't get snagged on the kelp. Um, I'm going to get this tied onto my rod, get it cast out, hopefully we'll pick up some sand eels. To the bottom here I'm just going to attach my little silver minnow and then to the other swivel. I'm just going to tie that to my main line. So the rod I'm using today is the Daiwa Sweepfire. This one is 8 foot and it's rated for 10 to 40 grams. I'm using a 4000 Daiwa Ninja reel and on here I've got 12 pound mono. a little nibble there. Yep, I think we've got one. Yep, we have. Oh, we've got a couple. Yep, oh, one's off. Oh. That one fell off. <laughs> Can't be losing valuable bait. Just quickly dispatch. I'm just going to quickly dispatch these two. Quick flick to the head. There you go. These are going to make lovely baits. These in the box. There we go. Yeah. So <laughs> we've just got another one there. Oop, it's gone wild. Get out there. Quickly get him unhooked. Oh, he's well tied himself up. Slip that up there. Whoop. There we go. That's another one there. That's going to be a lovely ray bait or a lovely bass bait. So what I'm doing with these is just giving it a little flick out. Letting it sink down in near the bottom but not right on the bottom. And when I think it's near the bottom, I'm just lifting the lifting the rod and lowering it till I feel a bite. So back in again. This time I've got quite a few. Yep. <laughs> you see there we've got three in a row. These ones are pretty decent. Straight in the bag. Get him popped in the bag as well. Quick entangle him. So I'm just flicking a little bit further out now because the tide's going a bit further out. Because the tide's on its way out. So I'm just going to slowly bring it back. Oh, yep, yep, we're in. <laughs> Straight away. Yep. Oh, got another three on. There we go. The thing with catching sand eels is it's best to get them off straight away, get cast back out because they, they like to move along. They like to move along the coast, the, the pier up and down. So you best stop trying to get them off as quick as you can. Oh, he's gone.
get put in my bag. Do it, we'll go. So it looks like we're gonna have a load of bait, which is gonna be brilliant. There we go. So we're back in again. Look, yep, got another two. Ah, oh, just drop one. I'm gonna have to run down and get it. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Don't wanna lose them. So these are going to make absolutely perfect baits. So I've just switched to a little smaller set of sabikis here. Just because I kept missing a few, so I think those are about size 6. Just got a really small one there. Lively, aren't they? Lovely we'll little bass bait that. They seem to be getting smaller. So this is what the bigger ones will be chasing. Get this one chucked back because uh, it's not really going to be any good for bait. Off he goes. I've got some lovely ray baits there. So these are going to be ideal just to split down and use for bait. Probably get some, hopefully, get some bass with them and um, possibly get some pollock, some rays. Yeah, great start. For 14 a day, that's more than enough for bait. So how I like the stormy little sabiki rigs is I just have a little rig winder. Wind me rig around here. This way you can keep it from tangling up in your box. Just makes it a lot easier to store them. I'm just going to leave the little spinner on the end as well. Keep that trapped in place with this hook. There we go. I'm going to stick that on the top of my box. Sorted. Uh. 